back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a love spell, but like my page, this video is not really a give handout videos or a how to video. I will talk on the matters of doing work, the little tips and so whatsoever, but again, your combinations, your secret recipe, that is your business. That is not for me to know. You have to formulate your own spells and go through trials and tribulations. But I will definitely say this. You can see I buy top of the line shit. You know, good quality uh, honey when I'm doing my love magic and stuff. Now, basically, you already know honey is designed to sweeten situations, love situations. So, basically, I am doing that for love whatsoever. This is what I'm doing this job for. But I'm just emptying this container because I like having my work in glass bottles or so. You know, not that I have a spiritual reason for that. I just like my work in glass bottles, you know. But um, as you will see, basically, as I do my work, I have a lot of things that I actually implement into my work, you know. This is for two customers. Actually, I got two customers that actually contacted me today. So I'm actually doing a love spell. Basically, a bottle love spell for two customers, you know. So this is the first jar, which I'm going. I'm not complete yet, so people don't jump and say he didn't even put anything in there. So I'm not even. <laughs> I'm nowhere near started yet, you know. But the thing about love spells is this: you got to really know what you're doing. You can't just put some stuff together and you know you think it's gonna work and stuff like that. See, when you're doing like bottle spells, you really gotta add stuff into there to give it more of a power, more of a push, you know. Because the thing is, it's like you're creating a spirit, you know? So by by you putting extra stuff inside the honey jar, it empowers the honey jar and make it specifically uh, designed for its task, you know? Because honey can sweeten, but now when you add extra stuff like herbs and stuff like that, and that's the thing with, uh, that's the thing with uh, honey itself, you know? Um, honey, mm, with herbs and stuff, you know, is that, the herbs have a natural energy. And the thing is, when you add those things in, whether it's oils or stuff, herbs, when you think about oils or stuff, so-called magical oils, what are they? They're basically, um, mm, man, this honey is damn good, man. Mm. Basically, herbs have in the, in the essence of the tree. So therefore, if the tree was basically for love, you know I mean, the tree has like love energy in there. So you say like, roses or tree like a branch or you know uh, a flower plant and so like rose we all know that a rose is associated with love so the thing about that is that uh you tend to find situations you know people use you know roses and love magic so you can pretty much say when you make the oil rose the essence of that spirit is still in there you know so it's just concentrate you know so what I'm going to do today is basically add some oils to my work. A lot of these, some of these are concentrated already, you know, so I don't really got to do much to it. So I just put a little dab because you're going to see as I'm doing this, I'm putting dabs of my special oils, essential oils in there, you know, so I can get best quality results, you know. It's better than basically putting some cheap $2 you know, oil in your stuff, you know, if you can get essential oils, you, you definitely, that is the thing to do, you know? Now, with oils, I definitely say one thing. You gotta document your experience. I use this in another book of mine, mm. for evil, but this book that I have here, this is from my experience. I just have it as a reference to make sure that I put all my right oils in here, you know? Cause if I, it, it's like this, if you have one good experience, it's best that you document what you did, you know, because you can always use it again where some people, they have a good experience with a combination they made and next thing you know, they forget it. And that, you know, that is like fucked up, you know, because now you want to use it again. Now you no longer have it. So the thing about having, keeping track of your work is basically documenting your experiences, you know? So if it's good, you probably write a dash next to it, like, you know, okay, you know, works, stuff like that, you know? So basically I'm going through a list of my oils 
you know, to make sure, because I got them already, but I just want to make sure so I don't end up putting the wrong stuff in there. So, mm -hmm. what is this? I never used this before. I went shopping for some oil, so basically, I don't want to confuse my work. So I'm pouring a little bit in here, pouring a little bit here. This goes here. Mm -hmm. Is this in here? Yes, this goes in here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. This goes in here. Oh, this is not even good no more. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. We want this lady to call this person back too. We don't need to be on the phone. That goes in there. See, the thing about when you're mixing these stuff up, you want to make sure you put the right stuff together because all it takes is for you to put the wrong stuff in there. See, you don't just put random stuff in there just because you, uh, just because, uh, how would I say this? Just because you know something is, they, they say it's associated with love, it doesn't mean that it'll be compatible with your work, you know? So the thing is, you gotta mix the right stuff up together because, you know, you never know. You know, the thing is, it's, but it's like something I say, like I said before, you definitely gotta be very spiritual to actually work this stuff because if you're not, you, don't, you can't sense when your work is wrong. And when you put the stuff together, and, and, and the fact that they're not harmonious, you can make your situation worse than it already is. And you end up losing the person for good. See, some people say, yes, love situation can be brought back. But my thing is this, why would you create a situation, you know, where you gotta do extra work, and next thing you know, it, you, you know it, it, you're like far back, you know, you push the worst and far back, like now it, it gets into a whole argument, now you're gonna go through this whole fighting stuff, and now the person wanna talk to you, Worst can, worst can be person be like, you know what? I don't want you coming around my property, this and that, you know? So these are the things that can turn upside down when you're doing love magic. You definitely gotta be a very spiritual person when you're putting love magic together, you know? Um, and I would definitely say this, in my past videos, I said stuff about being distant, like when I say being distant, you know, I, I wanna definitely, you know, talk about that, is that when I mean being distant, See, that depends on your situation. You don't want to be distant when when you're going through a situation where you're actually involved with a person. No, that's a change in the game. If you're involved with a person, basically you want to you want to be around that person. Continue like nothing happened. Like everything is the same as it was before. And that's how you want to carry your situation out. Air bubbles. Get everywhere. It's got an air bubble that ha holds all my oil in here, man. But yes, the reason why I turn this upside down is so that my oil can scatter around inside the bottle. Yes. I want the oil to get everywhere, move around. Love, love motion. There's love motion going on here. Yes, it can get a little messy with some, but who, who, who cares? This is not like evil work, you know, where you gotta watch of getting, you know, watch of like uh, how you get it around, you know, you don't want to get it around your place, you know. This is one thing I like doing sometimes. I, I rub on the people that are supposed to, like, the, you know, people that are supposed to be together. So, so I rub a little honey on them because sometimes, you know, things can move around inside the bottle. But if you got a little honey on the people, you know, you definitely got the stuff moving around. You know, so you kind of got that love on these two people. So, so now what I do is take these things together and put it back inside. So yep. Here you go. Boom. Client number one. His job is finished. Now I gotta get to my next customer. Same thing again. Next customer. But man, the only thing about this is that my hands are messy. Well, it comes with the territory. Now, let me look at my next customer. My next client, next situation. Yes, she looks very lovely. Of course, I can't show their photos whatsoever. 
Um, yeah. This is a customer I spoke to earlier. Oh, fuck! What am I doing? This is a customer I spoke to earlier on today. So hopefully nobody saw the photo. That's why you gotta have one of these on deck! Because sometimes you gotta make your adjustments to your work. Paper cutter. See, you know I'm a professional. I'm using a paper cutter to cut my uh, client's photos and stuff, you know? I'm just a little perfectionist whatsoever. You don't have to have that. I just feel like it's kind of more confusing to you cut your workout itself, you know, rather than having some, rather than having a, a scissors, which takes a long time. You know, it's in and out, in and out, in and out. You gotta, you gotta hurry up. You know, that's the thing with me. You got a job to do. You, you, you do it whatsoever. You know, you don't waste time. Just like construction. I teach. I, I treat all work the same. If I'm on a construction site. You know what I'm saying? I'm about productivity, you know? You know, the, you know, time is time, the time is money, and money is time. So, yup. Let's to the side. We get our next customer. We do the same. We take a little honey, a little spiritual oil here. Yup, and now, pass a little bit here. Get a little love going on. Yup. Get a little honey on these people. Yup, and now you put them together. Blend, sandwich them. Yup. Then you pour it in here. Yeah. Push it way down. Way down the bottle. No, it's not yeah. All the way down. I gotta do a little adjustment. Yeah. Yeah. I, see love. I see a little bit of the top. See, I'm gonna make sure it's in the top. There ain't no love running away. You see, we gotta get love everywhere. This shit gotta be seeping down. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get this oil. You got this love, you know what I'm saying? This is this is real deal stuff here, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, it's a little overspill, man. But this is the thing can be very messy. But this is what people pay me for. People pay me for results, you know? So other than that, this I hope this concludes and I give evidence of my work. So when I'm doing my work, it's not something that I'm, you know, saying that I'm not doing. You know, you're not I'm not the type of person that's gonna take your money. And then run around, shit, you know. Um, with that said, thank you guys for watching my demonstration, um, and I hope that some of the things I said kind of gave you some tips to working your love jars. With that said, I eat Bobo, and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, everyone.